Did you think you mattered, Hawk? Did you think anything you ever did mattered? You couldn't even save your city. How could you expect to strike down a god? Fenris is going to die just like your family. And everyone you ever cared about. Well, that's going to grow tiresome quickly. I'm already tired of it. I am already over it. Oh, why are they always spiders? Can't they have something better? <sighs> Smaller fears, I would wager. Scavenging whatever the nightmare leaves behind. And, of course, they look like giant spiders. You saw spiders? Yeah. <sighs> spiders would have been a massive improvement from what I saw. What did you see? Uh, of course. The demons look different to each of us. Personalized little terrors. Awesome. Well, now I feel better. Oh, uh, yeah, I feel cool. Oh, uh, just so much better. What is this? Okay, so this is a journal from an unnamed Templar. I'll take that back with me. I know we don't have time to stop and read everything. Do I? No, 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 you're right. Um. Okay, so this looks like a cluster of fears from a child. Oh, the poor thing. All right. Are we ready to go? Finish this up and get rid of this. It's a weird castle. This is absolutely some kind of weird castle. The nightmare is closer now. It knows you seek escape. With each moment, it grows stronger. All right. Divine Justinia, I have a few questions for you. Do you remember what happened? You must know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. As must you. The answer lies in your memories. Lost to the nightmare when you last walked the Fade. Or you could just tell me. Would you trust my words? Trust what you have seen. I wouldn't trust your words, but your words would help me figure out who or what you actually are. But all right, moving it along, will you tell me about the anchor and then? What can you tell me about this mark on my hand? You already know how the mark came to be upon your hand. As for what it is, it is the needle that pulls the thread, as well as the key. I don't understand. It is the needle that passes through the veil, as little else can. You are the thread, and huh. it is the key that locks or unlocks a door to the Fade. It lets you walk in the Fade physically and survive. Without it, Corypheus must find another way to the Black City. It is part of you now, and cannot be removed without your death. You just said a door, not the door. Does that imply that there are multiple doors, or there are multiple whatever object it was that gave me this mark on my hand? Didn't Sola say... Oh. On the way from Haven to Skyhold, Sola said that this was ancient elven. Okay. Uh, certain pieces are starting to be put together, and I'm not entirely comfortable with where this is going. Uh, will you please tell me what you are? I just... I would like some answers. So, can you tell me who... what you are? I told you. I am helping you. Yes, but are you her, or some kind of fade remnant of her? Or a spirit imitating her? Our world is never that simple. What if the answer is none of those things? Or all of them? I am what the Maker made me. The question is, are you what the Maker made you, Inquisitor? I don't believe that the Maker made me. I made me. I don't believe in the Maker. I never have. I don't see a Maker anywhere. Do you? In fact, I see him all around us. But is he real? Is his will made manifest? Of this, none can be certain. Odd thing for the Divine to say. If we have no doubt, our faith has no value. You still haven't answered my question. What are you? I am what you see. All other answers rest in you. Okay. Interesting. Can you tell me of the Nightmare? I'd like to know more about the Nightmare. It is not simply fear. It is 
The terror you cannot remember, the horror your mind erases to protect you. When old memories no longer make the veteran soldier's hand tremble, it is because the nightmare has taken them. Most people avoid their fears. It is simple for the demon to steal the darkest fragments. They forget, and it feeds. Corypheus has helped it grow monstrous. It... that's awful. That is no way, shape, or form kind. That is literally... so you don't face your fears. So you don't learn from them and move on. You don't grow from them or anything. The, the nightmare just takes them from you? That's awful. How does... Is that why so many people are so stuck where they are, though? Is that why we haven't moved past this whole mages and Templar thing? Because nobody's had to face their fears? Because nobody's had to work through it like most of us normally try to do to become better people? Is, is this why we're still stuck in this... I don't even know what you would call this. I mean, a lot is being explained now. Why are you helping us, though? That is the most important question. Why? Tell me why you're here. Why take part in this? After heaven, I hid here. I watched quietly, learned what I could, and searched for some way to help. And then you came. I don't know what that means. Corypheus and the Nightmare do an injustice to the world. You must stop them. Perhaps you were meant to stop them. Perhaps that is why I am here. So a lot of perhapses that you're giving me. A lot of maybes. A lot of figure it out for yourself, which I actually don't mind figuring out things for myself, but... Thank you for the information. We should keep moving. There's another supply cache in the Fade. If anybody <laughs> needs a potion, help yourself, because supply caches in the Fade make sense. A hastily written note... The breach is sealed and the war between the Templars and the Mages is finally over. All of our fear and terror is finally ending as order returns to this world. I wish you could see the people celebrating at Haven. It's everything you could have wanted when you left for the Conclave. I will make your sacrifice a worthy one. What we do here with this fledgling Inquisition will shape all of Thetis. I will make you proud. Your flame will burn forever as a beacon of hope. Something is happening, the ground is shaking, and the soldiers are running to the gates. Rest well at the Maker's side, my daughter. I will sing your memory again soon. Oh. Oh, that is... that is awful. That is awful. I hope that... I hope that mother made it. All right. Yes, I know. Scary, scary demons. Blah, blah, blah. I got a nightmare to face. But you just keep this going. That'd be awesome. Can you get away? Can you back. Uh, stop. Why are they everywhere right now? Why do they all... I mean, I get it. Nightmare wants to stop me more than anybody else at this point. I get it. I do. Is that all of them? Is everybody gone? All right, good. There was a letter here. The door is open. Mother said to run. She said the darkspawn were coming. She wanted me to go. The door is open. It was closed when I left. She said she would be right behind me. She said not to come back no matter what. The lamps are lit all over the village even during the day. To see through the smoke, Mother should be here by now. The door is open. I'm gonna go look inside. Oh. Oh, that poor child. Um, okay. Thank you there. <sighs> Just... I know, I got memories to recover, but... Oh, that... that hurts. Uh, Fear of Dreamers, the Grey Warden. I joined the Wardens to serve in glory. No blade could touch me, nor any claw pierce my armor. Still, I was fated by joining to die. Alone in the deep roads, the calling in my mind, I sat by the last campfire I would see, allowing myself one last night of terror and cursed the fate that brought me here. Let it be my choice to have served and died. Let it be nobility rather than dread... the dread hand of fate. Destroy my destiny and let this be my decision. So this is a Grey Warden going out on their own terms instead of the calling taking them. That's noble! That is noble! I support that, 100%. Oh, but that poor Grey Warden, though. To be at the end and be alone in the deep roads, and all you have left is you? I mean, it's something that we all strive for. To, you know, make it that far, but still, you know what I mean. Is that... Is that Mythal? 
with the wings? We've seen it before. I've seen it in books. Why is Mythal lording over everyone here of all places? Interesting. Anybody ever notice how Mythal in her statues looks an awful lot like Andraste does in her statues? Why is it the moment I bring up something important like that, you all start walking away and, and pretending I don't exist? Can we, can we talk for a minute about how they look very, very similar and have very similar crowns? Just get a th I'm going to throw that out there. I'm going to let you all do with that as you will. I'm going to go recover my memories. Enjoy that thought, though. Ah! Okay, apparently I was in pain. Let's look around. Go! Was that the divine that just said go? Keep running! Okay, I yelled keep running. This is the breach back in Haven. That's how we, how I escaped. The demons! Keep running! Ah! Go! It was you. They thought it was Andraste sending me from the Fade, but it was the Divine behind me. And then you... She died. Yes. So this can't be the Divine. It never was. You don't say. I am sorry if I disappoint you. This makes a lot more sense now. Were you ever, was it ever the divine in the fade though? Maybe it never was. Because I didn't see anybody getting pulled down by the spiders. You were, you like floated fast away kind of thing. We're like yanked back. Cause can't some spirits not enter through? Are you somebody, were you a spirit of some kind? And the divine, when she was dying, called out to you so strongly that you ended up becoming the divine. You ended up embodying everything, kind of like what Cole is. But you never came over to our side. You've stayed here. Is that what you've been? So it was never the divine. I mean, I've always wondered how certain things happened. And in that memory, there's no way the divine was injured at that point and older. Not frail, but I don't know if the divine could have lifted me up like that. But a spirit. That, that seems more probable, doesn't it? And the fact that you definitely could have come with me, but you didn't. There was a time, there was, there was that split second. You could have kept going. I had you, you had me. We could have both run through that. But you couldn't physically enter, could you? So the divine possibly was already dead by the time I escaped. Huh. So many different things could have happened. Irregardless, though, no matter what, you're our ally. Like, it doesn't... You haven't disappointed. The only thing that's important right now is getting out of the Fade. Whatever you are, you've helped us so far. What we do know is that the mortal divine perished at the temple. Thanks to the Grey Wardens. Talk. What, again? It wasn't their fault. 
We can debate the depressing details when we get back to Adamant. Assuming that the Wardens and their demon army didn't destroy the Inquisition while we were gone. Hark! So what do, you, what do you say? Terrible actions are only justified when they're your terrible actions? You practically killed every mage in Kirkwall. Alistair. Yes, because too many of them were practicing blood magic, just like your Wardens. But you'd ignore that, because you can't imagine a world without the Wardens, even if that's what we need. Don't know that we can pass judgment on the only folks who know how to stop blights. They might still be useful. What if Corypheus conjures another blight? You never know. I don't know what to tell you. There are a few good ones, but an awful lot of the Wardens I've known went crazy. Could we maybe not debate this when we're in the Fade and trying to escape for our lives? This doesn't seem like the best place to debate any of this. Hawk, you have done awful things. Alistair, the Wardens have done awful things as well. We've all done awful things to get where we are. It happens. It's a part of life. All right. I mean, look at me. I stepped out of the Fade and I'm back in the Fade and I'm trying to get back out there. I'm an apostate technically and I'm never going back and I will absolutely start another war if I have to to make sure mages never go back to the circle and then there's the whole red lyrium thing and there's a lot there's a lot there's a lot of crap that's happening all right so maybe we should just focus on getting out of the fade this debate can wait until we're out of danger inquisitor yes more spiders lovely the Nightmare has found us. Of course he has. All together. I'm with you. All right. Good. We're all on the same side for all of 30 seconds. Awesome. Love it. Fantastic. This is what I was hoping for. Can we all just kill all the spiders? Okay. Is that it? Are they all dead? All right, moving on. I suppose we should follow the divine. Whatever she is, she is our way out of here. Agreed. Is this? Okay. Is there? That's there's that candle is nothing, right? Okay. I just wanted to make sure because you never know in the fade. Here's my question. If the mark on my hand physically allows me to come in and out of the Fade and to be safe in the Fade, how are the rest of you safe right now? Unless- Did the King's bastard think he could prove himself? It's far too late for that. Your whole life you've left everything to more capable hands. The Archdemon, the throne of Ferelden. Who will you hide behind now? Is that all it's got? I've heard worse than that from Morrigan. <laughs> That was actually pretty pathetic, all things considered, because, yeah, I mean, Morgan. Uh, I will examine this. Okay, that time it tickled a little. It tickled. I feel a little different. I don't know why. Why do I walk up to these strange mirrors? What even are these mirrors? And why are they smashed? Do you think you can fight me? Yes. I am your every fear come to life. Uh -huh. I am the veiled hand of Corypheus himself. The demon army you fear, I command it. Uh -huh. They are bound all through me. Ah, uh, so if we banish you, we banish the demons. Thank you. Every fear come to life. <laughs> it stinks, doesn't it, Nightmare, when you pl overplay your hand, huh? Maybe you should try keeping your yap shut for once. Okay. We can go upstairs or downstairs. We're probably going to do both. Let's do both. I kind of want to see what's... Uh... I guess things just float whenever they feel like it here. And twist Wonder and turn. what's up there. Or maybe it's best we never find out. Let's not find out, Varric. And they also twist and turn. Hello, more things that I don't want to know about. Careful, careful, careful. There are more demons. No, 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 no. No. Stop doing that, you awful creatures. Just in case. Just in case everybody needs a barrier. You. No, 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 no. I'm dead. Okay, good. I wish in the fade they stopped making those awful noises. There's no reason for that. Is that a boat? There's a boat in the fade. It's still kind of crazy that we're here physically, huh? Anybody else feeling a little bit like 
this shouldn't be possible? Because it really shouldn't be. <laughs> Worse with the water. Trying to prey on my deep fear of having wet calves. <laughs> you, you joke about that, Bull, but I actually hate it when my boots get wet. So there's that. What is this? Uh, when the Darkspawn were new, when the Magisters had just brought them to our world with their sin, I was among the first to call myself a Grey Warden and swear to end the blight that threatened our world. We had seen the Archdemon die from mortal blows, only to rise again from the body of one of its servants. It could not die. I searched in vain for some way to kill the beast and save my world. I slept in fear with no solution, knowing that the blight, ha knowing that the blight the Magisters had brought would destroy everything because it could not be saved. Show me what must be done to slay the Archdemon. Show me what I need to save my world. So that's it. That's how they figured it out. So, okay. Let's just, is that safe? Yeah. Alistair, can you confirm that? That the Archdemon can just keep living forever, basically, as long as there is something blighted nearby? How much blight does something need to be considered blighted? Like, could it use a, a person with the blight or does it have to be a dark spawn? That's freaky, right? This is a graveyard. Why is there a graveyard? Blackwall himself, cold despair. Solace dying alone. Sarah the nothing. Dorian temptation. These are graves. These are our graves. Varric became his parents. Cassandra helplessness. These are everybody's biggest fears. Vivian irrelevance. Bull. Madness. It's not all of us though. There's no Cullen and there's no me. Why Sarah... There's no Josephine or Liliana either. And I can't say that these are wrong. Everybody's biggest fears. Oh, that's... I didn't need that. There's a lot of things I could have lived without, and that is 100% one of them. Uh, I will... Thank you for the weird little tickle. Okay. Uh, there's another weird mirror. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna walk up to it. I really am this time. Um, are you guys gonna just- No? Okay. They didn't want me to just touch it. They needed to fight me. I'm gonna get it if it's theirs. Uh, what is that? Okay. More random something that's getting shot at me. It tickles a little. I wonder if we get to keep all this when I leave here. I mean, theoretically, I'm here physically, so it's not like this is a dream. Okay, there's no- What is- the Keepers of Fear, who... Runes etched in the base of the screaming statue. This was not a place of honor. Here came beasts from the north carrying a poison called the Blight. They killed many warriors and sickened the land, and even their blood could kill. We feared them, and it was right. We were strong, but still they came to feed upon our screams. These stones hold the screams of the Alamari. Oh... Wherever the spawn of darkness have come, these stones were raised so the beasts might take their bounty of fear and depart. If they did not, every man would put his screams into the stone until none were left inside him. Then he would light the fire to burn the screams away and take it up sword and shield to fight until death came. When all the men were dead, the women did the same, whether it was the tradition of the tribe or not. Then the children, even if all they held were fire pit sticks. Remember our warning. Give the stone your screams. Burn them so that they cannot master you and fight. So that's what these stones are. These statues are where the darkspawn came and destroyed the Alamari. I actually really respect that. The fact that what? They put their screams into these statues until they had no fear left. So then that way the Darkspawn couldn't take that from them. But they died... Honorably. In their eyes. Which, I mean, it is. Dying without... Fear or screams or anything like that for the Darkspawn to prey on. So that's what happened to the Alamari in some places. And that's what those statues are. Oh, man. 
It brings a whole new meaning to some of the areas that we've been to, huh? 